Hey Cage, what's with all those names on your wall? That's the Wall of Elite. If you would like to get your name on our wall, please consider joining the Cage Crew on Patreon or YouTube at the Legendary Survivor tier. Links are in the description. You guys are all really amazing. Me, Autumn, Sylvie, and Sammy. Love you all very much. You people rock. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Ray, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Primitive Society Simulator. In this game, you'll be the leader of an ancient tribe, guiding your people to explore the natural world, to hunt, and to farm. As culture and civilizations prosper, you shall establish a tribe alliance, a community with a shared future of tribes. I did play the game for about a half hour to get acquainted with some of the controls. We're going to go ahead. Actually, what I did was a tutorial. Um, it was you know, pretty cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a new tribe here. So there's all different kinds of options here. I'm going to normally I wouldn't play it on easy, but they start on easy. So this might be one of those super hard games where easy is like normal. I don't know. I'm going to leave it on easy. And if it's too easy uh, and people want to see more of this game, I'll start a new game on normal. We'll see what we can do. So I will go ahead and show you these settings. I'm not going to talk about all of them, though. Just go ahead and pause the video if you want to see any of these settings. And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and confirm. And here are our people. Um, right now, there's only two stats in the game. There's intelligence, which increases the speed at which new knowledge, new knowledge, new knowledge is learned, and will be more uh, rational facing disasters. Then there's vitality, increases one's ability to fight, um, resist disease, and increase the max load of weight. It's got max health, current immunity. All right, cool. I'm going to leave these all alone. We'll just, uh, maybe I don't want anyone that's too low in any one thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. A zero two. Yeah. We're going to random stat that one. Oh, that's better. I'm not going to be doing random stats too much, but if I see anything that's like a two or a three, uh, four, three, it's, that's okay. That's acceptable. No one under three. Uh, random stat, random stat, random stat, random stat. There we go. You can also rename them, although I'm not going to do that right now, but if I could do that during the game, that would be fantastic. A new home. The hillside we once called home was swallowed up by a sudden blizzard. Everything perished. Compelled by our fate, we set on a long journey to find a new home. Rivers flowed towards the sun as the land stretched out to touch the sky as far as our eyes could see. The wilderness broadened before us. In the end, we found our safe place, a land rich with life. We will continue to accept nature's blessings and tribulations. Our people will survive. Okay, so here we are. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, turn off all the people. I did that with alt. Um, although I think you have to change that in the settings. Just so you guys know, there's some gameplay settings here. Uh, and I changed all these to when holding left alt. So because normally they'll just stay up there permanently, which is kind of annoying. And there's other things that will be uh, will stay up there permanently. Right now I'm holding down alt. But... In your game, you won't have to hold down alt. They'll just be up, and you could decide if you want to change that or not. All right, the first thing I'm going to want to do is take a look at assigned work here. And we are going to look at gathering. I could start the game, actually. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at gathering resources, okay? And we're going to look at priority. And I'm going to raise a lot of these. Um, 60, 70, 70. Yeah, let's put them all in 70. We'll leave this 20 and 50. That should be pretty good. Now, if you guys played any kind of, you know, strategy, survival, sim builders or whatever, you'll know what this is. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm sure it'll be okay, but I might have to mess around with it later. These people are going to need a place to sleep. And I want to make a bonfire over here, but I got to get rid of a lot of these bushes first. So I'm going to highlight them and have them gather these resources first. Um, there we go. Forage. Gather. Because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the I'm going to put the bonfire exactly where... Uh, a lot of these bushes are and um, they, you can make houses for them and stuff, but that's going to be later. The first thing you want to do is the bonfire. It'll be a lot quicker and a lot easier. And um, yeah, I'm going to put it like right here. Then you just put like chairs around it. They'll actually cook their own food. Um, I think you can get like, I'm pretty sure you can have people do cooking duties. Yeah. Food prep. But for the beginning, uh, they will cook their own food while they're around the bonfire. Okay. You guys need to do this, man. I need this stuff gathered. I need to gather. I need to gather now. Speed this up a little bit. Hurry up, guys. Finish it. So we're cutting down trees. We're doing all that. That's good. 
This stuff's all being gathered. Okay, I think we could put the bonfire down now. You could put the bonfire, I think, on top of these bushes, but then you'll lose them, and it just doesn't seem very, um, I don't know, efficient. So there, there we go. Let's put that. I kind of want it to line up with this. Um, that's oh, it doesn't line up perfectly. Okay, that's fine right there. And someone will build that bonfire. And while they're building that bonfire, I'm gonna put down some bonfire chairs. I don't think the bonfire chairs cost anything. This game's brand new to me, so I don't know how early access it really is. Um, it feels like it's very early access, but um, obviously I think there's enough. You know, to make a video here, I wouldn't be doing it. But yeah, it's really early access. You can do one to go one time speed, press number two to go two times speed. But after that, you have to hit this if you want to go faster than that. And then you could come back down to one time speed. All right. They all look like they're doing pretty good. I think the next thing we're going to want to build is a crafting bench, crafting table. Um, I guess it's pretty good right here. It seems like a good spot as any. And then someone will get over there and build that as well. There we go. And we're going to speed this up a little bit more. There they go. And there you go. So these people can have, like, their stats can go up to a 1,000. It's freaking crazy. Check this out. Let me grab somebody. Look at this. Look at their stats. They can go up to a 1,000. <laughs> Unbelievable. They've got um, uh, food focus, vit or intelligence food. Okay. So I guess you can make stuff that will give them boosts to their um, vitality or their intelligence. They've got energy. They've got their hit points. They've got attack. Um, their other stats. They can wear stuff. They can get weapons. Um, they have relationships, I guess. I don't know if this is in the game yet. Oh, mentor, huh? Okay. Interesting. And they also have status, which is their happiness meter. They um, have new homeland, new hope, happiness thing going on. They don't like sleeping on the ground. They don't like not wearing clothes. They're good with the bonfire. They like that they ate. And everything's looking pretty good there. Still nobody's done this. I don't think we have a knife. Let me see if we have a knife. I'm pretty sure we don't have a knife. Yeah, so if you look right here, this is my storage. And we have some spears, but no knives. Okay. Um, well, that's okay. Because what I'm going to do right here is we are going to make some knives. And we are going to maintain two knives for the time being. Okay. And then we're going to set up um, axes as well. And I guess I'll maintain two of, two of those. And then I'm also going to set up pickaxes. Maintain two, please. And then spears. And we're going to want four spears, I think. Maintain four spears. Okay. So, yeah, you can see right there. What's four or four being? They all have, they all have knives on them, don't they? Uh, well, that's got a pickaxe. Pickaxe. Yeah, you got a knife. Stone blade. So why is this thing not getting cut? I'm not really sure. I guess it's not in the way, so I'll just leave it there for now. But you can see here they slept through the, they slept through the night. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they also cooked their food over there, which is pretty cool. I wish I could get rid of this thing on the left side here because, I don't know, maybe I'll want it there at some point, but not right now. All right, we're going to speed through the night now. We are in spring. Um, temperature's 15 degrees Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? Don't know. All right, so someone should get up and craft. You know, we should find out who's going to craft. And let's see who the best crafter is. Um, crafting, okay. 0 0.21, 0 0.21, 0 0.21, 0 0.21, oh God, they all suck. Oh, one, two, four. I got a 1.24. All right, so you're going to be our crafter. And then I will take everyone else off crafting. Oops. I don't know why I did that. That's building. Priority. All right, there's nothing to do with there. Okay. All right, guys. Get up and get to work. There we go. The game looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know if it's procedurally generated. I don't think it is. This looks like the same world that I've always played on. Um, it would be nice if we get some procedural generation. I, I assume we'll be able to eventually. Uh, but we'll just have to see. All right, so they're making tools. They're mining stone. They're cutting down trees. Everything's looking good. I think the next thing we're going to do is we are going to build a floor. Uh, structure floor. Now, that looks like a dirt floor, but it's not really a dirt floor. So, And I also don't think it, it takes anything, like any materials. So might as well make a big one. 
Ah, oh, wiped out that bush. Ah, eh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. And so you guys are all doing... I don't know why you guys are still sleeping here, man. It's freaking 9 o'clock in the morning. We get up and get to work. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Um, food management. Okay. Cool. So there's a lot of good stuff there. Anap Anapals. I'm not sure if that's, if that's like a purposely misspelled. Like you, uh, you can make the animals your friends or whatever, but... Quests. You got alliance, alliance quests, completed quests. Ancestral will. I'll have to look into that at some point. Creations. Oh, look at this. Spear. Okay. All right. Very good. Search for herbs. Um, I won't be searching for herbs, but that's interesting. And the world map, because it's one of those games you can go like all over the place, I guess, apparently. So that's really interesting. I don't know how that's going to work, but... We'll kind of have to see. All right. After they're done with this, I'm going to make some like indoor places for them to sleep. And I'd also like um, maybe a bridge across here if I can do that. Uh, we should probably take a look at what we can. Uh, let's take a look at the other build stuff. All right. So build order. Change colors. Okay. Very good. Structures. Sheds and floors. Um, store. Storage. Uh, meat rack. Fruit dryer. Oh, does food go bad? Um, eat 10 at a time. It gives you plus 0.5 in, in, intelligence plus 0 0.5 vitality. Weight, price, when hunting is... I don't see anything about spoilage. There might not be any spoilage in the game yet. All right, uh, let's take a look at that. Clothes stand, weapon rack, um, beds, fishing tool stuff, weaver's table... War totem. Oh, fences and stuff. Oh, chicken feeding trough. Oh, okay. Seed table, culture, medicine, and other. War drums. Cool. All right, let's go with um, a shed here. The sheds are a little weird to build. Um, if you, It's kind of hard to explain. Like Normally, I'd want to start the shed here, but it works better if I start it here. And you see that how that's like pointed? That's how the shed's going to come up. And if I didn't do it the way I did it, it would have been overlapping on that side, which I didn't want. Let's go ahead and put some uh, beds in there as well. And I don't know if you could put the beds here and have them count. You probably can. I would imagine. Nah, let's just put them like this. There's no point in it. might not count if I do that. So that's, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. We gotta get rid of that bed. We misplaced it. So demolish building. Go back to build. Bed. And there we go. And we should make another one on the other side. Although I think we're gonna need some more room. Let's see what we can do on the other side. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need some more room now. Um hold on. Oh, it was red. Okay. Yeah, no good. So I can't put it where I can't put it where it was. So I got to go over one. See, like that's red. There we go. And that's going to be overhanging. See that overhangs in the dirt. That's what I was talking about on the other side. So we're going to demolish that. What we're going to do is we're going to build out this floor a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, where was the floor again? Now, eh, whatever. It's right there. We're going to do this. All right, guys. Do your thing. And it looks like we have our like, tools made. Um, although I don't see them, maybe, are they on the people? Four or four. Oh, it's four or four. They're all being used. Okay. Two or two, they're being used. Okay. Very good. Well, the spears aren't being used. Yeah, it doesn't say used. I should probably put the spears on people. I will probably do that in the morning. No point in doing it now. So is this just a storage area? Because I could probably move this, right? Yeah, storage zero. Can I make it bigger? Expand building area. It's got to be it, right? right? Like that. Oh, cool. All right. So it did expand. Awesome. I don't know if you need to expand. I don't know if there's a certain amount of spots. I don't see like any like, oh, this can only hold so much type of stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's kind of speed up the night. 
Come on, 2 o'clock. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. Come on, 4 a.m. I wonder if I can make bridges. Because a lot of times I saw people going around here to, to hunt or to, to fish, and they were going all the way around. So maybe I should make a bridge somewhere. I don't see anything about bridges, though. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look at it later. Okay, so they're making that with the beds, and that will hold six people. The shed is made of branches and grass, which can keep the rain, keep out the rain and prevent the building. Keep out the rain and prevent the building from rain. Um, it also has the function of keeping you warm. Cool. Healing, lo uh, heating, lowest tolerable temperature is negative five. Okay. All right, very good. There's got to be ways to build. I got I to look through the um creations and stuff and find out what the deal is here. Somebody invented this um, bridge. Oh, bridge. There you go. I need more knowledge. Five of 50. Requires crafting zero, intelligence zero. Every time we cross a river, we have to take a detour. So we need to build a road. So we need, so we build a convenient road over the water called the bridge. Okay. So I need more crafting knowledge. Okay. So we just got to keep crafting, I guess. Well, if we got to keep crafting, we got to keep crafting. Let's go ahead and make a weaver's table. And I kind of want this stuff facing the same direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this and rotate. Can't tell which way it's facing. Is that good? Yeah, sure. I like that. All right. So they're going to build the weaver's table. And we should also make fishing tools table. Sure. Why not? I don't see a reason not to. There we go. And prestige war totem. Each totem provides plus one attack power bonus for tribal people. Cool. We don't have what we need to make it though. So um, we could do fences, um, chicken feeding trough. Uh, use fences to form a close space at chicken feeding trough so you can raise chickens. Okay. Um, I guess we could try and make some fences. Why not? Where do we want to make the fences for the chickens? I don't know. This seems pretty good. How big does it need to be? I don't know. All right, so that's the trough. So it doesn't have to be that big. Oh, hold on. Do I have to hold down the button and drag it? Yes. Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right, how do we make a door? Um... Door. All right. And the feeding trough. I don't know. How are we going to get the chickens back here? I have no idea. One thing at a time, people. All I know is we need crafting skill. Although I don't even know if this is crafting. This is building, right? Is crafting different than building in this game? Probably. Yep. Building is different than crafting. Okay. And we need to get the crafting skill in order to make the bridge. Oh, crafting knowledge is going up. Nobody's crafting anything, though. I don't understand why their crafting knowledge is going up. Maybe building does count towards crafting as well. Just kind of have to wait and see. So I did see some chickens over this way. I'm holding that alt right now. Um, sheep. Yeah, we got some chickens. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to try and grab some chickens, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Probably just got to click on them and then click go grab that chicken. All right, you. You're going to go grab a chicken, bro. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, did we finish the trough? No. All right, we should probably finish the trough before we go grab any chickens. Why is no one building it? Oh, we don't have stone, do we? Here are my supplies. No, we got plenty of stone. Oh, someone's building it. It's just taking some time, that's all. You know what? I think we'll grab some chickens in the morning. Everything's looking good. How's the food doing? Food's, um... Did I start with 600 meat? I hope not. That means the meat's going really quick. All right. Well, it is what it is. We'll have to see. Uh, we'll keep that up. All right. Let's go ahead and speed up some time here. So watch. They're going to grab some meat, and they're going to start cooking around the campfire. So it went down 320, 310. So they take 10 every night for each person. 
Oh, wait, that went 310 a couple times. People are taking it out of there. All right. That's fine. I like the fact that the food has buffs. Oh, I was supposed to make another house. Crap. I forgot. Wait, they got plenty of beds in that house. Never mind. Sheesh. Actually, there's still like two, like four sleeping spots not being used. All right. I was going to make another, uh, another building, but I guess I don't need to. So I thought in order to get a chicken, I'd have to like go grab the chicken. That's not how it works. I actually found out how it works and it is way better than that. It is so freaking cool. Let me show you. First of all, we got to find out who is going to be our animal husbandry person. Yeah, they all sucked. So it's definitely going to be this one. So we've got feed animals, number one priority, and then herding. Herding is not something we care about right now. What we want to do is hunting. But before we do anything, I want them to fill that, that forage thingy. So we're going to go to food management, 60, yeah. They should be putting food in there. Uh, let's see what they let's see uh see what they do. You put some food in there, bro. Is that you? No, that's not you. Okay. So where's my food person? The one who's supposed to be putting food in the all right, so it's this one. Oh, are you crafting? Why are you crafting? Zerky, you should definitely not be crafting. Let me find a no, this person should be crafting. Yeah, I'm not sure why this person's crafting. They should be putting food in the food trough. Um, so let me see if I could force them to do that. Feed animals, no animals. Oh, okay. So they won't do it because they don't have any animals, basically. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Speed this nighttime up. You guys are going to all get some food. That's great. Meat's really going down. I can, I can have them hunt animals as well. Um, I don't know. The thing is, I don't really want to hunt the animals until I absolutely have to. Because I don't know if they're going to respawn or how long before they do respawn. So, I, you know, we're just going to have to kind of say, what is that? Oh, potions. Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to slow this down. We're going to go to assigned work. Okay. So, they won't do anything until they get animals. So, you are going to be our hunter. All right. And we're going to do priority. And you are going to... Not hunt. I don't want you to hunt anything just yet. I want you to capture juveniles. Just chickens. Okay. Now he should go out there and cap capture some uh, some juvenile chickens. Once we get the juvenile chickens, he should put food in the food trough. And then we can start raising some chickens. It actually tells you, like, um, like how many chickens you can fit in here. I don't remember how to do it, though. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. But you, you can only fit so many chickens in a certain spot. So you'd want to maybe make this a little bigger if you want more chickens. It seems pretty big for chickens. Also, chickens need a roof. I've I've had chicken. I grew up on a farm, so I've raised chickens. Uh, yeah, you kind of want a roof on there. But are you not? Oh, so they got the spear. Okay. Don't worry. They're capturing them. And I think they got one. Oh, I can go up to eight with the keypad. Okay, never mind. It doesn't really matter to you. All right, you going to feed him now? Yes, beautiful. All right, so he will now go out and capture stuff. Do I want someone hunting? I think it might be time to get someone to do hunting. So let's see who would be a good hunter. I mean, you're 0. 0.5. I want two of them because he's capturing things, and I want the other one to kill things. So I guess you'll be a hunter. Yeah, that works for me. All right, so you're number one hunter. You will not capture anything. You will hunt adults. So I, okay, so here's the deal. The fact that these things are separated, and I don't think you can capture adults is what I'm trying to say. I think you can only capture juveniles. So that's something that, you know, kind of remember. All right, so now we do have a hunter. That's fantastic. Um, I think I did this off camera. I sent up some bones or whatever, but I don't have any bones. And I sent up some winter clothes, but I don't have any um, of the materials, which is animal hide. And then this thing, what is this thing? Oh, yeah, fishing stuff. Okay. Make a couple of these, I guess. Maintain two of these. Yeah, works for me. Uh, fishing spears. Harpoons. Same thing. All right, everything's looking pretty good here. I don't know how you get more people. So I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. I'm pretty sure you can. I wonder if it's just people have babies. Let's see if there's any relationships going on. How do I go to the next person yeah, right here? Yeah. I don't know if, I don't know if you could do relationships yet. It might be a little bit early. 
But yeah, I don't know about the relationships just yet. All right, let's close that up. Let's speed up the game. Get through the lame ass boring night. Damn, that person stayed up till 6 a.m. What the hell? Chickens are looking good. Let's check our tech tree. And by the way, this is the tech tree. So uh, we got all that stuff. We need the bridge. Um, the bridge, we're at 19 to 50. So we'll be getting to the bridge relatively soon. Um, what about better tools? Um, slings, pottery, scribing knowledge, wooden armor. And this um, sled, hide armor, copper forging, copper mining. Interesting. Um, herbs, foraging, fishing, hunting, husbandry. Any points in husbandry yet? Interesting. Um, he's been capturing stuff. I guess that doesn't count. Oh, okay. So something must have gotten killed because they're making stuff. So we're making some winter clothes, which is great. How many people do we have? We have like eight, right? Yeah, we do have eight. So I'm going to put that up to eight. And this thing is like um, a needle. So I don't know how many of those I'm going to need, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, Make. Oh, crap. I was supposed to maintain. All right, whatever. Uh, let's maintain four. There we go. So stuff has been killed. Let's take a look at our supplies. Our meat's at 293. I should probably leave it. I want to leave the supplies up there, but at the same time, they're kind of annoying to get in the way. Should be able to make that bridge pretty soon. Okay, they're working. They're working. How much animal hide do I have? I got seven animal hide. Okay. So animals have definitely been killed. Why do you have the winter clothes on now? Do they have durability? Don't wear them now. Lowest temperature. Yeah, they do have durability. No, return that, dude. You don't want to start wearing that now. It's freaking... Aren't you going to get hot? It's freaking spring, bro. Leave that up. Put that away. Okay. All right. Everything's looking good so far. I think we're off to a good start here. Um, I really would like to see some... Maybe some chickens get bigger. We got, okay. Will chickens eat meat? I think you can feed them meat, but that doesn't... Oh, look at this. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Every night, males will automatically seek out females for mating. Show animal names. Cool. You go, like, butcher them later. Um, 30, 21. Okay, so they're not even tamed yet, I guess. Um, feeding. Yeah, they got all that. Okay, so we're going to... Can we do farms? You know what? I haven't seen anything about farms. Crap. Farms? Maybe we can't farm yet. Culture. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about farms. Did not think about that. Um, husbandry. Um, crafting? I don't think it's in crafting. Gathering resource herbs, no foraging. I mean, foraging could... Foraging berries invented. Forage... Wild millet. Okay. I mean, we need to do some foraging here. That might be a good idea. All right. Let's, um, let's take a look around and see what we have. I'm assuming stuff will grow back. Here we go. We got some, some berries. So if you double click, it should do all the berries. Yep. There you go. Forage those berries, guys. Now, who would be my best forager? Herbs, medical care. No, crafting, husbandry, foraging. See, there is farming. Priority, okay. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Okay, we'll have you foraging. Maybe we should put a couple people on foraging. There we go. Those two can forage. My people are fishing too. Check this out, man. We're getting some fish. I definitely got to make the bridge over there. That's why. The, that's why it's um sometimes like pre-built maps are better because like they're like pushing me to making bridges, which is pretty cool. Although I still would like procedurally generated. Um, lack of blades, huh? All right, lack of blades. So what do we got? Um, four, really? Four is a lack of blades? All right, whatever. Just make eight. I don't care. You know what? Just make eight. Whatever. You're going to maintain eight. Because that's how many people we have. 
And I could use the crafting skill anyway. Um, rope, let's go to 10 for rope. There we go. All right, so we are just waiting for these chickens. We got a bunch of, of meat in here now. We've got um, fish coming in, which is great. I have people getting berries. Um, I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you guys want to see more of this game, if you're excited about this game, make sure you let me know in the comments. Like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. And obviously, any tips are more than welcome. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.